Honestly, just looking at this just makes me want to go wherever this is. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Nat, and today I will be reviewing the 35S Sweet Oasis palette, which is beautifully campaigned by Karen from Morphe. I honestly can't wait to share all my thoughts and opinions about this new palette. Looking at just this box, it's just so beautifully are done and that I can't wait to get inside and open this lovely little palette. I wish I could be wherever this is right now, especially during quarantine. I mean, we all dream of a beautiful vacation like this, especially now in these hard moments and I hope all you guys are keeping safe and I hope you're all well. This is such a fan palette to release, especially during quarantine. We can have some fun with this. If you're interested in seeing what this little makeup palette looks like, and hearing my honest thoughts and opinions and having also a little makeup tutorial to see how all the colours go and how they look like. Also, if you're excited as I am, keep on watching. So let's get on and open this little beautiful palette. So it comes with a little bubble bubble foil <laughs> bubble bubble foil obviously the palette comes with the standard cardboard uh, morphe design and as you can see the beautiful sunset <laughs> our dream vacation is on the top of the front cover i love this and honestly it just looks so nice and if i can create makeup looks that makes me think of this beautiful sunset then i'll honestly be so happy let's go ahead and take a look inside and wow honestly uh, it comes with this standard foil as you always get and one thing that I am impressed by a lot which Morphe has decided to finally put the beautiful names of each color on the actual palette itself so usually we would have gotten all the names on this little plastic and let's be honest no one keeps this around everyone loses at one point in their life and then you wonder what is the color well now morphe has made it easier for you guys all the names are now on the packaging which is a life-saving thing because if you've watched my previous video i had no idea what all the colors were called because i lost my foil so having a look at all these colors as you can see they all remind me of this beautiful sunset that is given to us at the front of the packaging i love the versatility of color in this palette i mean this palette has most of the colors that you would be looking for in a palette there's those fun beautiful colors and those neutrals that you would want for a normal day you have the pinks you have the blues you have the neutral golden colors shades and Honestly, this looks beautiful. All the shimmers look stunning. I can't wait to now test it out for you guys. The one thing that I am a bit upset about is that we did not get a mirror inside. And honestly, when I travel abroad or go sleeping over at my friend's house, I like to take at just one palette. It would have been so helpful. It would have been such a great idea to have a little mirror here. But honestly, I'm happy that the names are on the palette, so you know. And this is just a burst of happiness and joy and colour. I can't wait to try this out and see the pigmentation of it and how well it goes onto the lid and how it builds up. So let's get on and create a makeup look. So I will probably be recreating one of Karen's looks. Um, I mean, those were amazing and she looks stunning in those pictures however i won't be creating the pick look i will be going ahead and trying to recreate that look with the blues because i mean those blues have really caught my eye i so. do love a good morphe brush and especially a good eyeshadow brush i zoomed in a bit so you guys can see the application of the colors and how well it goes onto the lid how well it blends in and how good the color pigmentation is and usually with morphe we know that we can sometimes go way overboard with pigmentation but we can also get amazing looks if we blend this incorrectly i will be starting off with a color called alfresco which is this beautiful neutral color right here and what i will be doing is just taking this color and creating just 
a beautiful base for my blue eyeshadow. Alright, with this colour applied, I will be going in and taking this brush over here. It's a tiny little brush, which is the JH39 brush by Morphe. And what I will be doing is going with this beautiful colour right here, which is called Sail Away. And what I will be doing is applying this colour right here in the crease of my eye. What I loved about Karen's look is that beautiful eyeshadow kind of flick that comes at the end, which I think looks absolutely stunning. I want to create this bold blue look and I think this is going in very nicely. What I do realise is that there is no excess currently under my eyes, which is fantastic. I think this Sailo hair colour is absolutely beautiful right now. I think it's going on very smoothly. It isn't dropping any excess under my eyes here, which is absolutely amazing. I honestly think you don't need a lot of build up with this colour. Do you get a, such an amazing outcome even if you don't build this colour up a lot? I think. It's very nicely pigmented, but it's not harsh pigment. It's nice and smooth and isn't creating that very harsh look, which sometimes can occur if you put too much on your eye. So what I will be doing is going ahead and adding some darker shade of this blue. I will be going with Infinity Pool, which is the colour right here and I'll be applying this to my lid over here all right nextly what I will be doing is grabbing a very thin brush again the same brush that I used the JH39 and I will be going in with the Hidden Cove which is this beautiful dark colour right here. Uh, what I will be doing is just going with this colour inside my cut crease. Alright so what I will be doing now is obviously given a beautiful cut to my cut crease and I will be taking some concealer and dabbing it onto my hand just grabbing some of this concealer and cutting my eye to create that stunning look I think this looks lovely and what I will be doing now is grabbing the brush again by Morphe from the same collection. This brush is JH40 and I will be grabbing the shimmer, so the beautiful glittery eyeshadow and I will be going in with the beautiful windsurf which is a beautiful silver colour and I will be applying this onto my concealer. Wow! This application is absolutely amazing and I still have no excess underneath my eyes which I think is stunning. I do not have to worry about excess eyeshadow falling underneath my eye. I think Morphe has done an amazing job with the formula of, the, of these eyeshadows and actually figuring out to add something that will not give you excess underneath those eyes because we all know it is a mess when we get excess underneath our eyes. I think this looks absolutely stunning. What I will be doing is taking the JH39 again and I will be grabbing the beautiful Hidden Cove which was the dark colour that we were applying and I will be adding this on top of my glitter eyeshadow. I think this looks absolutely beautiful. The colours look amazing. This might be one of my 
favourite Morphe palettes. Grabbing the beautiful silver that we grabbed which is called Windsurf and applying this underneath my eye. Just going back to the concealer brush which is the JH42 and grabbing the Windsurf beautiful silver glittery eyeshadow and just applying that to the corner of my eye. What I also will be doing is grabbing this brush again which is the JH39 and just grabbing the beautiful Sail Away light turquoise colour and extending this to the corner here. I think the outcome of this was beautiful, there was no excess coming underneath my eye and honestly the colours, the pigmentation and the actual like colours itself are absolutely beautiful. You do not need to apply a lot of the product in order to get a beautiful standing out colour. I will now be going in and finishing my second eye so I can finally show you the finished look and conclude and tell you my final thoughts. So now with my makeup look done, I think this palette is amazing. And I will be just grabbing some eyelashes, putting them on, putting some mascara on, and I will show you the final look. Honestly, finishing my second eye and putting some mascara on, I absolutely love this eyeshadow look. During these this quarantine, I think we all needed a very fun palette. I will be popping some eyelashes on to show you the finished look. Alright, so this is the final makeup look with the 35S Sweet Oasis palette and I think it has come out so beautifully well. I think the colours and the pigmentation, no follow under the eyes, it's a perfect palette for any type of occasion. You can make crazy looks, make fun looks, make neutral looks. The palette offers a wide range variety of colours and I think this eye makeup look turned out pretty great and I think I give this palette a 10 out of 10 and I couldn't be more happier to have such a great palette in my collection. I think even the price is an amazing price. Um, it sells for £25 currently at Morphe and I think that is an amazing price for a Morphe palette which is actually such an amazing palette. I think Morphe has done a great job giving this palette to us during even quarantine. Such a happy moment to have fun, make look. Having such a great palette in your collection is a must and I think this one deserves a place in your collection. So if you would like to check this palette out, I will drop a link down in the description below so you guys can have a go at making your fun looks and creative looks. And hopefully feel like you've been on this amazing sunset sweet oasis vacation while watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and press the notification bell so you never miss a video. And I will be, as always, posting some final makeup look uh, photos at the end of this video. So if you want to have a look at those, just stay up to the end and I hope you guys have a fantastic week, a fantastic day or night wherever you are right now and I will see you in the next video. Bye!